Hey everybody, it's Elle or Ariel and I'm back for another bump date! Yay! So as you can see, tonight I finally was able to <laughs> get my camera set up and everything. I've been so behind in making videos, so hopefully I'll just be able to post a couple in a row and catch you guys up on how this pregnancy has been going for us. Uh, but right now I'm going to talk to you guys all about my week 26. Okay, so week 26 was a little funky. I did, um, I was feeling a little bit nauseous here and there and I was having some like you know, I don't know, just kind of digestion issues in general, and um, I couldn't like pinpoint what was going on. I thought maybe I had a, like a little stomach bug or something, but I wasn't feeling that sick. Like I was still able to go to work and everything. I was just kind of feeling a little icky. And out of the blue, I started having some contractions. And this was like when I had come home from a night shift and I was very well hydrated. I had eaten food, like everything was fine. Um, I was laying down and I had a pretty chill night shift and I started having contractions. And so it was very like, um, they kind of felt like intestinal cramps, but it's so hard to tell if you've never been pregnant before, like what, what is considered a contraction versus what's like a stomach bug. <laughs> so anyways, so I started kind of like keeping an eye on the clock and I was like timing them and they were coming regularly. So it kind of freaked me out a little bit and I know a lot about like pregnancy and labor being a nurse, but you know, I was still a little bit worried. So I went up calling the midwife on call uh, because I'm only, you know, 25 weeks pregnant and I don't want to be going into preterm labor right now. Like baby is barely viable and I don't want to screw anything up right now. <laughs> so anyways, so I called them and they gave me this like, they said they'd call me back and then they didn't. So I called them again and they said, oh sorry, like someone's like, like literally giving birth right now so they can't call you back, but we'll have somebody else call you. So I was like, okay. So somebody else called me and it's clear I had like woken them up. So they weren't very happy, but I was telling, I told them what was going on and they just basically said, drink a ton of juice, like not even water, just like drink a ton of juice, like fill your body up with sugar and um, like lay on your left side and eat a really big breakfast and like lay down and if in an hour they're still coming regularly then give us a call back. So anyway so at this point my husband is like getting ready for work because I had just come home from my night shift and he's getting ready for work so he's like getting dressed and everything. And um, I like told him what was going on and we were both waiting for the call back and he decided at this point, he's like, I'm not going to go into work right now. Like, I'm just going to let them know, like everyone at his work knows that I'm pregnant. And <laughs> so he's like, I'm just going to let them know that like something's up and, you know, I'll stay with you until we figure out what's going on, which made me feel better because he only works 10 minutes away. But still, like just having contractions and being so early on, I like really wanted him there and so I was really happy that he could st stay a little bit longer and like just going to wake um going to work late that day so anyways what wound up happening is he I sent him out he went to Dunkin Donuts good old healthy Dunkin Donuts but don't be judging me I'm in Boston and we eat a lot of Dunkin Donuts so <laughs> he went to Dunkin Donuts and got like a big breakfast sandwich like on a croissant like bacon egg and cheese like the whole nine yards he also um, got some hash browns, like just like a whole breakfast thing. And I had I had eaten recently, but it was just like toast. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna like try to force feed myself all this food. And then he also got me like a big uh, water bottle full of cranberry juice and I chugged that basically. So I ate that, chugged that, and then again, like laid on my left side. And we just kind of hung out and I put on the, sh the TV show Friends on Netflix. That's kind of like a good default background show for me. I love Friends. Thumbs up if you also love that show. But anyway, so we put that on in the background and we just hung out together and I ate this stuff and drank my cranberry juice and laid on my left side and I was kind of in and out of sleep and I was still getting them. But luckily, within like half an hour or so of doing all this, they started to slow down. So thank God for that. Baby stayed put. I didn't have to call them back. They didn't give me a call back. I'm assuming that they were like, well, if she's really having issues, she'll call us. So I'm not worried about that. Um, so I was so happy that they finally petered out on their own. And I didn't have to worry about it. And luckily, I am not in early labor. <laughs> but... That was a close call and it was a little frightening, uh, a little nerve wracking because I feel like this whole, like some people have like really, like really high anxiety, their whole pregnancy and about labor and I'm a little bit more chilled out because like I know so much, like I just feel like education is power, knowledge is power and I know so much about all of this that 
it just makes me feel more confident. Like I, I'll know what, when something's up, but it was still very rattling because I'm like, I don't have a, I don't have a Doppler. I don't have a, you know, um, a TOCO, which is like the thing that measures contractions. Like I was like, I don't have all that stuff obviously at home. So like, <laughs> how am I supposed to know? Like I'm a nurse. I'm used to relying on, you know, like instruments sometimes. So so that was like a little rattling for me, but I'm really happy that they stopped on their own and I had that big breakfast and luckily the stomach bug kind of went away too and so I think everything was fine. I think definitely what happened is like obviously if you're having a stomach bug or you're having like intestinal issues like sometimes that can trigger contractions or make your uh, uterus like irritable which I think is hilarious because it sounds like you have a cranky uterus but uh yeah so that's basically what happened is I just had a cranky uterus and it started having contractions and yeah that was interesting uh but anyways after that I have not had any more contractions and everything has been totally fine everything else is going really well this week baby is kicking around like crazy uh they're starting to have some kind of like somewhat regular sleeping schedules. Uh, I noticed that definitely, I know a lot of people say like, when they're asleep, that's when the baby wakes up because when you're walking around, you're like rocking them to sleep. So I've definitely noticed during the day when I'm asleep, because I'm a night shift worker, the baby's awake. So I kind of hope that, you know, when I have this baby, they'll be on that routine and they won't have like, you know, day night confusion or whatever. And they'll just be awake during the day and be sleeping at night like they're used to right now. <laughs> um, but other than that, everything else is going great. I haven't had any other crazy symptoms or anything else crazy going on. Um, everything's going pretty well. I finally kind of figured out like the whole <laughs> like intestinal issue going on, not the stomach bug, but how before I was talking about like the yellow dock tea and all the other stuff I was trying. And I figured out that if I just take, I think I had mentioned this in my last video, but if I just take magnesium every single day, then I don't have any problems. So I've just started doing that and yeah that's been good what's coming up oh and I totally forgot to update you guys and I'm so sorry so I forgot to update you guys on the ultrasound so I had to have a third ultrasound the first one I had was at seven weeks um, at the IVF clinic and then they released us into the care of a regular OB or midwife and then I told them that I'm really trying to limit ultrasounds so we only had one at I think around 20 weeks I don't know, it was it was like a month and a half ago or so maybe two months ago yeah so like two months ago so <laughs> sometime around then halfway mark in my pregnancy we had another anatomy scan to check everything and verify everything was good and the baby was so low in my pelvis that they couldn't actually see the bottom of the spine because at that point baby was um yeah they were breech but I mean it was halfway through my pregnancy so it doesn't really matter they flip around so they couldn't see the bottom of the spine no matter what we tried like you know I tried like peeing I tried changing position and like nothing could get the baby up and so they couldn't see the bottom and they had to verify that the baby doesn't have spina bifida or anything else so that I can give birth at the alternative birth center and so I had to go back for a repeat ultrasound and I forgot to update you guys because it was like three weeks after that one so it was just a couple weeks ago that I went back and I'm so mad because I lost the pictures that I had from it but I took one picture of the baby's like face they were able to kind of like show me the face a little bit um and again it was hard I had to go by myself because my husband couldn't take any more time off of work right now and uh I obviously like told them I didn't want to know the gender so I had to look away a lot but then they're like I'll show you the face at the end just so you can like see your baby <laughs> and so they showed me and they were like scanning through and you could see like the nose and the mouth and it was amazing so I got a picture of that and I'll insert it for you guys so that was awesome to be able to do that and they checked and the baby does not have spina bifida so yay and the measure baby was measuring like their weight was already like a week and a half bigger than like the average weight of a baby or length of a baby or whatever so baby is growing like crazy and doing awesome and what else was going on oh and at that appointment the baby was head down so the baby had turned so that's awesome so now baby's head down um three weeks after they were not head down so that makes me happy and i hope they just kind of stay put and so far so good i don't think baby's flipped around it's kind of hard to tell but i don't think baby's like flipped around much at all so i think that's good to go but other than that guys there's my ultrasound update and my week 25 update or 26 whatever it is <laughs> all right guys Thanks for watching and subscribe to follow our journey. And that's it for now, guys. If you like, subscribe. Bye.